What's going on everyone and welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. Today is pretty cool because we have two missionaries coming from Hawaii to join me here in uh, Be Creative, Be Great studio. Um, they're part of an organization called YWAM, Youth with a Mission. And I thought it was so cool uh, what they're doing and I thought it would be a good idea to have them on a coffee break, share their experiences, give a little bit of their testimony and hopefully you could be blessed by it. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. That way we can continue to move the gospel forward through these means of uh, social media and through YouTube platform. Um, but let me not talk too much. Let's get into it. Welcome everybody to another episode of Coffee Break. Uh, we're here in the Be, Great, uh, Be Creative, Be Great studios and we have two special guests uh, that are missionaries from Hawaii mm -hmm. under an organization called YWAM, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yes. Youth on a mission or youth, youth with a mission. Youth with yeah. a mission. Um, so if you're a young person watching this, watch the full episode because you're going to be blessed by it. Um, again, thanks you for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you share with the whole world, okay? Um, so we're here. We got another coffee break. I already gave you a little bit of what the coffee break was like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to go straight into it. Right? Um, how are you? What's your name? Like, <laughs> you coming? This is your first time coming to the. Actually, yeah. you were, you lived here in the states before. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you moved to mm -hmm. Hawaii. Yeah. Is that what it is, right? Yeah. And what is your name? My name is Marissa. Marissa. I'm Amy. Amy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Jonathan. I don't know if I. <laughs> no, you never said. I never you introduced that. myself <laughs> yeah. and all that stuff. That's like the that. first time I hear. This is the first time. <laughs> Um, it's a pleasure to meet you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I thank Pastor Lenny for introducing me to mm -hmm. both of you. Yeah. And hopefully um, your testimonies and your stories could be a blessing to those who are watching right through that camera there. Mm -hmm. um, so so what, what brought you guys to take a trip and just leave, you know, the United States yeah. and go to Hawaii yeah. and just venture out a little bit? Like what mm -hmm. took you there? Let's start with you. Yeah. So um, like her, I also grew up in the church and everything. And so I've always been exposed to God. Um, things even like of the supernatural manifestations, okay, you know, yeah. things like that. Um, but growing up, um, I don't know, I guess as early as I can remember, I've always struggled with not feeling like I was enough and kind of not fitting into a certain crowd or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it was probably high school, started doing my own thing, stopped going to church, doing all that. And once I went to college, I just kind of went up the deep end, mm -hmm. did a lot of things I wish I didn't do. Mm -hmm. um, and then basically I stayed home after my first year of university and then finished my associate's degree. And the timing of it all kind of worked out because I was starting to question like, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. Like school is just not cutting it. Like it's not working out how I thought it would. Mm -hmm. um, and um, basically I started like looking up mission trips and it's weird because right around the same time I went to a family friend's house and someone from YWAM was there and he was like, oh, you should do YWAM, all this stuff, like sign up here, apply here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. And so I ended up signing up. It was the summer of 2017. I signed up January, 2018. And then I went September, 2018. Mm. So it really was like perfect timing with just the way that my life was going um and it's just i just feel like a whole different person Ever <laughs> yeah, since that, yeah it's that crazy move. yeah and then, mm -hmm. if you feel the same way as well like it happened to you um yes i can 100 uh, percent say that i'm not the same person that yeah. i was since i came to ywam Amen. um i told you already a little bit about my story but i'll share it um so i grew up in a christian home my mm -hmm. dad's a pastor Born and raised in Puerto Rico, Carolina, if there's any mm. Puerto Ricans out there, you already know. <laughs> um, but when I was little, I loved church, I loved missions. I used to always go to school and be like, oh, like for career day and be like, I want to be a singing missionary, like that's my passion. And I would be the only one with like a microphone and a Bible, mm -hmm. like that was always my thing. But uh, growing up, I felt like I had a lot of expectations for my family. I have four siblings, they're all older than me. My oldest sister, we have like a 20 year age gap in between oh. each other. Mm -hmm. And so you're the youngest. Yeah, so I'm the youngest. And um, they've all accomplished a lot of things in life and they've also have had many downfalls. So there was a lot of things that I was like, oh, I need to be here, but I can't be there. My brother's depressed, so I can't be depressed. 
my sister got pregnant before marriage so I can't get pregnant before marriage. Mm. My brother dropped out, I can't. My sister's a lawyer, has like 20 degrees. She doesn't have 20 degrees, but she's just like super smart, has a really nice job. Yeah. I need to be there. But growing up, I never had, like I always felt like I never met those expectations. Mm. And also being the pastor's daughter, I always felt like this pressure of like having to go to church all the time because all of my siblings stopped going eventually. Like they just reached a point where they're like, oh, I'm just living my own life. And then my, I had this relationship with my dad where he was like, um, like, please go to church. Like, don't make me look bad. Oh, okay. And I don't, he wasn't, I know that he wasn't doing it out of a place of mm -hmm. like forcing me mm -hmm. and like only doing it for his image. But in a sense, it felt like, oh, like I'm only doing this for you. Right, right. You know, so a lot of my um, decisions, decisions based. were based around other people mm. and even like friendships and like relationships and like everything I did was like to meet other people's expectations. But I always felt like I was let down. And in high school, I was super depressed. I actually um, lived in Connecticut for three years, two and a half years. Wow. I lived in the Canton, Avon, Farmington Valley area. Okay. I had moved in with my sister because she was really sick. She's married, has three kids. She's sick. My mom asked me to move out and help her out with the kids. Um, so I lived here and that was probably some of the hardest years, years of my life because I was pretty much taking care of her whole family mm. because her husband was always at work. And um, I just wasn't being good in school and I was really depressed and I was I saw no purpose for my life because I just always felt like I was letting everyone down yeah. and it wasn't until I got probably to like my lowest point in my life I've had a few relationships guys cheated on me mm -hmm. like I went to parties so many things you know I like experimented it all and um, I got to this point where I was like, there has to be more for me in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that, like, I felt like I couldn't offer anything academically. I couldn't offer anything creatively. I couldn't offer anything spiritually. But I was like, there has to be something else. Yeah. And my parents would always be like, Amy, like, you should try YWAM, like, doing a Christian internship. Like, you don't have to go to college right away. Like, just give up a time for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I was always like, no, I don't know if that's for me because all the expectations that I had kind of drowned out the passion that I had for missions when I was a young kid. Mm. So I was like, I don't know if I'm called for that. But then through many encounters with like, like even people, my friends through Instagram doing YWAM and just like seeing blog posts here and there, the Lord really led me to like their, the website. And I remember just getting so encountered watching one of their live streams. And I was like, man, I need to be there. Mm. Like I might not find my purpose here, but I know that the Lord will lead me. And, um, like he was gonna give me the answer right, when I right. get there. Yeah. And so I went September 2017, so a year before mm -hmm. Marissa, and my life really, really changed. And I realized no one in this world can ever fulfill me or give me yeah. purpose or identity because yeah. everyone and everything comes with so many limits. Yep. But the Lord is limitless, so mm -hmm. I can always find my fulfillment in Him. Mm -hmm. And my purpose in this life is beyond my gift things. It's it's based on the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. So ever since like I've had, I've had those revelations since coming to YWAM, I'm like, dang, this is what I want to dedicate my life to, yeah. is loving God, loving people, and mm -hmm. seeing souls saved. And it's mm -hmm. spreading the gospel, right? Spreading that, the gospel. That, that's the, the main mission yeah. overall, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But it's good to, to see how, like, we have two individuals, or you got two girls here that, that are, have two separate lifestyles, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Grew up two different families. Mm -hmm. Yeah but yet, you know, had similar, um, like, things that you guys mm -hmm. were dealing with, yeah. you know, in a way. Some may mm -hmm. be, you know, stronger than others, yeah. but, you know, it's, do, do you find, like, for other women that probably watching this, you mm -hmm. know, too, that or maybe your age range mm -hmm. or whatever, that could probably be struggling with the same things, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because like I said earlier, too, sometimes we, we think that we're the only ones yeah. Yeah. going through stuff, you know? And especially, you, you said you, you grew up in church, too, or, mm -hmm. or like, yeah. so it's like, it could be a little bit difficult or the pressure, right? Do mm -hmm. you feel like mm -hmm. while you were growing up in church that it was more of the pressure mm -hmm. for you to be maybe, you know, like where your parents were or, or where your older siblings mm -hmm. were at? Mm -hmm. Or or was it something else? It was just decisions that you just wanted to make. Do you feel like uh, that you had a, a some type of um, like rock on you that you had to accomplish something mm. in order to to be the person you know what i mean to be loved or to be liked or whatever yeah. you know what i mean do you feel like you had you had that 
I think uh, I also have three older sisters. Oh. So we're both the babies of the family. Yeah. I think with any family, you know, there's gonna be certain expectations that you feel like you're supposed to meet. Right. And especially as the baby, you yeah. know, like people just look at you differently. <laughs> and so, they do. Um, <clears throat> I think for me at least, like coming, I, I guess like growing up and knowing the Lord, growing my, in my relationship with Him, um, I, w I wouldn't say I felt pressured in a way. I mean, once I got to high school, I was like, I'm not going to church anymore. You know, okay. like, mm -hmm. I was old enough to the yeah. point where I was like, I'm making my own decisions now, yeah. you know? But I mean, it, for me, was like a choice that I had to make. And, and I always, I never like was mad at God or anything like that. I always was, had some form of a relationship with him. And so I, I wouldn't say I felt the pressure maybe like the way that you did, mm -hmm. but for or, me- Or you think the, the presentation of the gospel, how about that, right? The presentation of the gospel, was it pleasing to you? Yeah. That would make you like say, you know what, once I get out of high school, I'm not going to church. Like what mm -hmm. made yeah. you get to that point? Like that means the presentation of it was, wasn't was presented correctly? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's crazy because like I said, I never was mad at God or anything. Right. And I grew up in the church, so I always kind of knew what he was about, but I think it was very surface level. Yeah. Mm. And so I think when I had gone through what I've gone through, you know, <clears throat> with guys, I got into drugs, doing all that stuff. Yep. Um, you know, when you experience that stuff, I feel like you realize that, okay, I mean, I always felt like I wasn't good enough, you know? Mm. I was always second choice mm -hmm. and um, nothing really fulfills and satisfies. And so I feel like when I came to that revel like realization, I remember being in my room one night, the summer after my first year of university, and I was sobbing, texting my sister, texting my friend. I was like, I can't go back. Like, it was way too hard, like emotionally, mentally, mm -hmm. spiritually, like so bad. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I cannot go back. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna tell mom and dad. Like, I don't want them to be disappointed. Right. And I ended up telling, telling them the next day and they were super supportive and I just always love telling that story because I just love my parents. <laughs> so, but like, um, shout out to her parents. Yeah. Right? They did a Mike good thing. And Judy. <laughs> Mike and Judy um, but, uh, no, I mean it, it became a choice that I had to make to come back to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's so much sweeter when you get to just choose him. Right. You know, I, I, I totally agree. I just mm -hmm. love that. Yeah. So. It, it is and he gives yeah. us that option you know yeah. um and that's why he's always waiting he's so yeah. patient with us right? yeah that it doesn't matter what you go through or, mm -hmm. or how long sometimes we delay ourselves yeah god is always still the same god all the yeah. time you know yeah. he never changes um really we're the true. ones who are always changing and moving all, yeah. all you know all over the place but mm -hmm. god is always consistent yeah mm -hmm. you know he stays loving a hundred percent um yeah. so that that's what we could um um that's what sustains us, right? Yeah. At the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So now you 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 go through all these different things, right? And you decide that, you know, everybody's telling you, oh, you should try YWAM. Mm -hmm. Fr friends are going to YWAM, whatever. Mm -hmm. You've never been at any of, no. you know, the YWAM uh, missionary trips or anything mm -hmm. like that, right? Mm -hmm. So now you decide to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? You're on a plane, right? And you know, how was your experience when you're on that plane and you're like, what were you asking yourself? Like, where, did you have some type of petition that you were saying, Lord, you know, I need mm. for you to do mm. something, you know, yes. like, was there something like, and you got <laughs> yes. on that plane and yeah. you're by yourself, you have yeah. no friends with you there mm -hmm. and you're taking a trip to Hawaii. Yeah. How was, how was that experience? Yeah. Well, almost missed that experience because I almost missed my <laughs> flight, <laughs> yeah, but you know, funny. I did make it. Um, no, I definitely went with the mindset of I want to find my purpose. Like, I want to know what I'm made for, mm -hmm. why I'm here. Mm. Um, and yeah, so that was my petition, I guess you could say. Okay. And I still remember walking in the first day and I was like looking at all the cute boys. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so like not there, like where I needed to be. Yeah. But praise God was like because that. he changed them to me. So, yeah. You know, he changed my heart. Yeah. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I think for me, I have a pretty unique story. Because I was in Puerto Rico before I um, went to YWAM that September, and it was the week before Hurricane Maria oh, happened. Sure. Oh, that's right. So every the whole island was like apocalyptic. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> airports were shut down. Everything was like 
done. And I remember being like, oh my gosh, like I'm just not going to YWAM anymore. I was planning on, I was like, maybe I can just get a job and go in January. But then I, my mom actually came up to me. She was like, Amy, I feel like you still need to pack your bags and go. Mm. And I was like, there's no way airports are shut down. Like, I guess this just wasn't for me. Like, I don't think I'm going to, but I still listened to her and I packed my bags because she was on my butt about it. Mm -hmm. um, and then my brother actually works for JetBlue. So he ended up showing up randomly in the middle of the night. We didn't have any power or anything. I just remember him walking through the doors of our house and he's like, Amy, um, we're having like free flights for family members to get them evacuated of the island. I can get you to Hawaii. And I was like, wow. I was like, God, like, that's, that's insane. That God would be so faithful. That was a cool testimony. And then, yeah, and then I left September 28th, which was the day that um, DTS was supposed supposed to start. And um, the whole the whole time was, I it took me four days to get to Hawaii mm -hmm. because the flights were all so delayed that mm -hmm. I missed each one oh every time goodness. I got there. And I remember having to text all the staff, I was like, Sorry, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there. My bags got there before I got there. Wow. That's oh, wow. how bad it was. And I remember thinking, I was like, I was like, God, there's too much like warfare against yeah. me. Like mm -hmm. maybe I wasn't supposed to do this. And I remember crying at the <clears throat> airport, but then one of the girls that was staffing the school called me and she was like, Amy, like, of course you're supposed to be here. That's why there's so much warfare. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know. Like I was like crying, but then I got on my flight to Hawaii and I was like, God, if this is really you, like, I know I'm just gonna feel it. Like, I know my whole life is gonna mm -hmm. change. Yeah. And I remember getting to the airport, being picked up by a bunch of staff, and just yeah. driving down, like, the Ali Road. Yeah. <laughs> Ali Road, going Kukini. to campus, Kukini, Kukini, Kukini Highway, um, going to campus and just feeling like a piece in my heart of like, mm -hmm. man, like, this is really where I'm supposed to be. And yeah. I remember just, um, same as Marissa getting there and be like, oh, am I going to meet my future husband yeah. <laughs> and all this stuff. But in reality, I really like, well, we both really saw the faithfulness of like the yeah. Lord and like it was life changing and God was so faithful to fight for me and getting there even mm -hmm. when I was in the middle of a natural disaster. Yeah. And he really did give me my purpose and yeah. here and, I am. And it was all that expected that you expected when you went out there, like, you know, you you're taking these courses now. Now yeah. you're going into discipleship. Mm -hmm. You know, you're mm -hmm. you're going through their courses of, mm -hmm. of how they teach yeah. missions or mm -hmm. whatever. How, mm -hmm. how did you feel about all that stuff? It was good? Yeah, amazing. They always say it too, and, and it's true. It's like the amount that you learn and receive, receive is like drinking from a, a fire hydrant. It really is. It's Everything like so intense, like all the time, new speakers, new things you're learning. You're like, oh my God, and your <laughs> eyes are just open to this whole world, you wow. know what I mean? But They say that those six months are like being like 10 years at, at the church. No, it's Some true. Like yeah. I, and I, I like say this all being, the- So it's like a six month course, but it feels like 10 years of information. The Yeah, the, uh, the program is so intense that it's like 10 years yeah. of like growth in the church. Wow. I, I say yeah. this all the time, like the past, I've learned more in the past three years of my life than I have in my entire life combined. Me I'm too. not even kidding. That's crazy. Like that, that ain't no joke. Wow. No, for real. Because you really get put into so many situations. Yeah. Where you're forced to just grow and mm -hmm. choose and trust the Lord. Like I'm only 21. Marissa's only 23. Mm -hmm. I've had to lead a team by myself yeah. to in the middle of the jungle to yeah. Peru. You know what I mean? With like eight, 18 students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like no normal 19 or 20 year old is gonna no. do that. You oh, know, yeah. there's yeah. so much responsibility on you. And like, I can't do that. Like I can't do that by myself. So yeah. you just learn how to really just trust the Lord in mm -hmm. every situation. And it's like constant revelations of God, God's character and, yeah. God, and wow. who God is and why he did what he did. Well, and, and that's good. Yeah, and that's good because you, you, you want that, you want, especially if you're gonna make a move like that, right? You yeah. wanna grow spiritually. It's mm -hmm. not just about traveling and, you know, and, and, no, and yeah. preaching yeah. the gospel. That's but, like but the you, perks Yeah, of it. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So now you get to travel around the world, right? Mm -hmm. um, exactly. It's maybe not just Hawaii. I'm pretty sure you go to different places. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. You mentioned Peru. Um, yeah. How was that? Um, that was crazy. I've been to all the outreaches that I've been to or mission trips. Um, They've all been to South America, so I went to Paraguay my first year. Okay, nice. Paraguay my second year, and then I went to Peru last year, and we were actually in the jungle. 
So oh, yeah. it was a we lot. We were in Peru last uh, two years ago. Really? Um, yeah, we went to Machu Picchu, Cusco, mm. and oh, all those okay. other places. Sure. We have two of our good jungle. friends. Yeah, but the, we were gonna do the the jungle, but it, it's, yeah, but that's like mm. intense. Yeah. The there we go. Door. I put her on mute, and she's still talking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but I was at it was actually pretty insane last year was probably one of the craziest years of my crazy. life Because not only were we like in the jungle the whole time yeah. But um, we were doing a boat trip for a month where we were living on a boat And then we were gonna go to this unreached people group uh, like indigenous tribe yep, called the yep. One Piece tribe yep. And there, it's like a 10-day boat trip there and then we were gonna be there a total like 40 days and then oh come my back. Goodness. Yeah, but then in Peru the jungle. That's in Peru OD. the jungle, the Amazon jungle. Like I took showers in the river, mm -hmm. no toilets, no anything, mm -hmm. no toilet like paper. no toilet paper. <laughs> but not just that. Listen, <laughs> listen. Okay, so halfway we're halfway to where we're supposed to be. Our refrig. We had like a big refrigerator with like all of our meat and food. Boom, it just shuts down, <laughs> stops working. We have to throw out all of our meat, all of our food. We can only have one meal a day, pretty much. We, and there's 30 people on this boat. Yeah, so, and- You wanna I, lose weight? There you go. Yeah. Listen, people got skinny. Yeah. People got skinny. I got, yeah, yeah, I got skinny. I remember seeing a picture of you and I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, but. But God still provided every step mm -hmm. of the way. And I remember, because I remember talking to my contacts and the people, I was like, is there any way to turn around? They're like, there's no turning back from here. Like, we gotta go. Like, we'll make it yeah. work. Wow. And That's good, um, my That's... students were so, like, they were so good about it. Like, no complaining, no anything. Yeah. And every time that we would go to, like, an indigenous tribe, they would always come down with like a big thing of like platanos yeah. or like bananas. <laughs> They're like, all... we sent all of our tribal men to go fishing for oh. you. So it was like constantly seeing God's provision and like, man, like he really doesn't like, he thinks about everything, Yeah. you know? And um, we saw one, like we saw tribes hear about Jesus for the first time. Yeah. Tribe leaders give their lives to Jesus. Amazing. Like crazy things. It was like a very humbling experience and just, seeing God in like a different way, like how he would just send us so far to reach like the one wow. who really has never heard about Jesus. Yeah. Like I've never, I've never met anyone before that, that I've never heard the name of Jesus. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah. Or have the gospel. And we were able to give them the gospel in their language. Wow, that's awesome. That's is, amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that I, I was looking at the, is it Telos or something like that? Telos, whatever Tes the... What? Tesla? Uh, is it? No, not, not Tesla. <laughs> Come in no, the we car. Have, we you know, you know, the... have Tesla initiatives, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have a Tesla mission over there? No, no, no. There's a ministry that we're starting on campus called the Tesla Initiative. Mm -hmm. It's not, it has nothing to do with the cars. Nothing. But it's about building connections with, yeah. like, different uh, but nations. But is, is that the one with the languages? That's called Teslos or something like that. T E L O S. I saw it on your guys' page. No, we have. And, and it's about equipping you to, for poverty. different languages. Yeah. Uh, um. Actually, that, that's probably something you might look look it up. Yeah, we yeah. will for sure. Um, um, I, actually, hold on a second. That could <laughs> that could be a new thing. Hold on, because I was actually looking up and I was like, wow, I was so impressed by. It could be new, yeah. With Wyoming Kona. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna show you right now. It's called um, Tilo. Oh, Tes uh, Tesel. Tesel. Oh, why am Honolulu? So that's a different base. Yeah, that's a oh, different base. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So that, but then when I saw this one, it's it's like teaching English yes. as a second language. As, yeah, yeah, as a yeah. second language, yeah. and they equip you for like to speak these different languages mm. so you can communicate with people. And I thought that was so powerful yeah, that, that that YWAM was offering that, yeah. that type of stuff too. I was like, oh my god! Is but then when I saw 100, 200 hours of instruction, I was like, I like never know. mind. Yeah. <laughs> no, but but yeah. that's pretty cool that they yeah. offer all these different programs. That it's yeah. not just stuck with one program. So if yeah. anybody's out there mm -hmm. that wants to join something like this, it's possible, right? Yeah. Like you're yeah. twenty. You said twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. You're twenty three. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and God still yeah. has so much for for both of you. Yeah. Yes. Um. And you guys are pretty sure experiencing a whole bunch of cool stuff mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. Um. How was how like how was have, what's like your experience out there? Like yeah. what's one of your crazy experiences? Like a Peru type thing. Oh mm -hmm. gosh. She's got crazier stories than I do, but my my outreach, I went to Brazil. Um, I went to the northern Medanhão, like um, northeast. We went to the village for 21 days. And there was like, we had a five hour truck ride just into the village. And then you gotta <laughs> buy all your food before you go because yeah. there's nothing around there. Mm. 
And that was incredible. I mean, you just walk around house to house. This is the doorbell. Posto and Bell, you know, can I come in? You know, and then it was so cool. We got to tell people about Jesus, pray for them. And then last year, I single-led a team to India, which was also wild. And it was a pioneering team because no one had been to that area yet with wow. our base. And so... Um, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, I this is so it awesome. Was. It's yeah. like you guys are like little soldiers, you know, yeah. in God's yeah. kingdom. <laughs> it's that, true. Are, that are like military. You know, it's like almost like military style, yeah, you know, know but yeah. in a in a from a spiritual standpoint, yeah. you know, you guys are, you know, um, imparting the word in people's mm -hmm. lives. I'm pretty sure you're talking about your testimonies yeah. and yeah. things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure little kids, little girls, little yeah, boys. Yes. Because we, me and my wife, we have done missionary trips too. Um, maybe not as intense as as mm -hmm. you guys do because mm -hmm. this is what you guys are doing. But we've done to Ecuador, um, okay. Honduras, Guatemala, you know, mm -hmm. different things like that. And, and they've been amazing trips. And mm -hmm. always when you come back, it's almost like that um, you reflect and mm -hmm. it gives you so much perspective, oh, yeah. you know, as to what you have. Yeah. And mm -hmm. appreciating, you know, oh what gosh, you have. Yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. man, when I was in the States, I have all this stuff. Yeah, and then I come over well, here, no. I have nothing. You're yeah. freaking 40 days. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's crazy. Eating plantains you know what is yeah. that it's like little monkeys you know what i'm saying like living out For there real. sometimes you know how sometimes they fry that you you can fry plantains and make them taste good one morning they just gave us plantains <laughs> and you're just eating it raw <laughs> so yeah they're like they're like here you go just that's, oh. that's all we have for dinner today i was like okay yeah. thank wow. you god wow so, so that's geez. it's cool man that yeah. that's such a cool experience and it's cool to to see that young woman like mm -hmm. you you know what i mean have mm -hmm. taken on that that mission mm -hmm. you know um that's yeah. why i love the um the the verse where it says you know many are called but few are chosen yeah. um, because it's the few yeah, that accept the call right it's yeah, the absolutely. very few of people that that accept that absolutely. call it doesn't matter whether it's it to missions to mm -hmm. preach to yeah. evangelize whatever yeah. um but at the end of the day god is calling all of us yeah right? so true and um um he's just waiting for us to just open up and say i'm here mm -hmm. i'm gonna do it mm -hmm. and it's so cool to to you know that you guys are like living testimonies that you guys yeah. said you know what i, I want to change in my life mm -hmm. yeah you know thank god for your parents who have yeah. also you know yes. imparted the word because if it wasn't for that you wouldn't probably you know have known god to yeah, begin for with. Oh, absolutely. um or at least wanted to chase after god a little mm -hmm. bit more um so these the, i i think ywam is doing an amazing thing and and for for you to um um talk about these stories and these testimonies yeah. and stuff is actually amazing because th those who are watching right now on the coffee break and stuff mm -hmm. are going to be able to at least women are going to be able to relate yeah. to you guys yeah i usually have guys come in you know and it's yeah. always uh, the male figure yeah but it's kind of cool now to have you know from the female mm -hmm. perspective as to what god is doing yeah for real. Uh, with women young women older women whatever mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. um and it's good to see that that you guys accepted a call and you guys are doing amazing things and i know god is going to continue to mm -hmm. to bless you you guys have boyfriends or or husbands no, yeah, right? or in that we're direction. waiting Stay for the right one to come along well and god will do it definitely no, god will. will do it you he know you, you have been faithful and it's been already how many yeah. years you've been out there already three five, five yeah yeah four five almost five but, well you know i'm only 21 marissa's only, only 23 right so that you're still young yeah there's a lot still to come mm -hmm. um i know we were talking about boyfriends and you yeah. know husbands and all mm -hmm. that stuff like all that good stuff mm -hmm. um god definitely has a has a purpose for both of you exactly um no much. Sometimes I think that's where I was. That's where I had left off too. Was when I met my wife. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she was going through her things. I was going through my things. But if we would have met mm -hmm. while we were both going through our own yeah. trials, like you know, it was not gonna work out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she had to absolutely. go through her things. I had to go through my things. Mm -hmm. And God's perfect timing is yeah. always perfect, mm -hmm. right? So um, for both of you, it's the same thing. You know, you guys may not have boyfriends, and that's a good thing too, because yeah. if there's no rush for that, you're yeah. still young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, there's still a lot of the world that you're gonna see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And God knows that that man that He's preparing for both of you. Yeah. You know, He's preparing a man for you, and He's probably going through some things now. Mm -hmm. You know, and God is just still refining him and working with yeah. him. To then you know bring yeah. you, you know to that person mm -hmm. exactly um i'm pretty sure it's difficult too at times right because sometimes yeah. it comes behind your mind like man oh, yeah when am i gonna have this no, you know yeah, right? i'm pretty sure yeah it comes across your mind sometimes there's right? definitely like the ups and downs of it and like oh like i just wish i had someone to do this with yeah but then there's like times when it's 
I, I'm so happy that I just get to do this with Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You know, and just to like live your life, be single, experience mm -hmm. life. And, you know, of course it will be nice to do that with someone, but that like, that will happen. Right. Yeah, exactly. That it's nice to do it now, just kind of being single. Exactly. So. It's also funny because in our community, in YWAM, everyone's young and everyone's getting married really young. Mm -hmm. So 18, 19 year olds are getting married, 20 year olds are getting married. Mm -hmm. So me being 21, I'm like, I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> like I need to get married. Like I need to find my mans and start doing missions with yeah. him. Yeah. But in reality, like, I'm not, I'm only 21, like yeah. I said, yeah. Yeah. you know, and like, when am I ever going to say, oh, I'm going to go to Peru? Yeah. And just you know? go. And just go. Yeah. Right. Because once I get married, I have a boyfriend, I have mm -hmm. to be like, yeah. oh, but then Jorge does call <laughs> to Norway, <laughs> you know, all these things. Jorge to Norway, yeah. <laughs> Jorge, you know, so it's yeah. like, I'm never going to be able to live my life just me and Jesus and only yeah. make decisions for me right. and Jesus. Yeah. So. No, it's Sorry, true, and, 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 and that's how, um, um, yeah, it's, it's not going to be Jorge, trust me. It would be probably being something, another name or something. Luis. Probably. Luis. Or like yeah. a white boy. Luis. Or Michael. <laughs> Michael. It could be Michael. <laughs> or Jason. Roger. Jason. Or Roger. Ryan. Steven. It, it, there's so many possibilities, Tyler. right? Tyler. 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 I could definitely see something like that. No! Amy <laughs> and Tyler. Okay. Yeah. Fear Tyler, don't hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, don't be offended. Yeah, I, I know, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, be, be careful. They're waiting on the Lord. Okay? Wait They're on waiting the Lord. on the Lord. Let's not, you know, try to push along God's yeah. process. Exactly. You know? um, yes. And God is going to do what he said he was going to do yeah. right from the mm -hmm. beginning. So it's it's a good thing. Um, you guys are doing what you have to do. Mm -hmm. um, actually, what I wanted to ask you, too, that I, I, I was thinking about it. When you get, when you get there to, to YWAM, right, um, there's a cost to tons of things right mm -hmm. to even get there yeah do you end up getting a job that you get paid for or, or how does this work so it's mm -hmm. all on offerings and like yeah. so how do you get to to like um, um financially provide for yourselves like yeah. how, what what is that process like um there? everyone's different some mm -hmm. people are able to pay the full amount some people most people fundraise so you get the word out there, you see if anyone would like to help you. Yeah. Okay. Some people sell their cars, do things sell like that. And stuff. Yeah. Wow. Um, but it's not a paying thing. It is definitely a cost of six mm -hmm. months mm -hmm. that you are not getting an income. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people work before they go to raise yeah. money. Oh, okay. like definitely. Work, 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 but and then when you get there, is everything provided by them? Like yes. right now you have to travel, say to India, it's yeah. covered through YWAM. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Housing is Housing, covered. Housing, food. Wow. Transportation, yeah. Yeah. Okay. like once you pay your amount, you're mm -hmm. good. Unless you want to like, you know, do your own personal, like right. jump off a helicopter yeah. in yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. like yeah. Or oh, like different attractions and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Oh, then you, you would pay for that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would pay for that. Okay. So, the, yeah. yeah, the university, it's also university campus, yeah. University of the Nations. Yeah. It's okay. Called. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah. um, the school will not pay for like yeah. personal. Oh, okay, like, that's cool then. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's nothing that, mm -hmm. not out of the out of the ordinary mm -hmm. or yeah, whatever no. so exactly. mm -hmm. no but that's cool because i it, like i was just thinking just you know how how does that work financially you know what i mean mm -hmm. if you want to do certain things you want to go to a movies or you want to yeah or yeah. whatever that'll just come out of your own mm -hmm. funds if yeah you, exactly whatever the case yeah. is so you get you or or do you find jobs to like work out there like like or mm -hmm. you're specifically working for ywam yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're getting covered housing and travel, mm -hmm. but now like for clothes, you want to buy clothes, you want to buy, so that's, how out, do, of your own that's out of your mm -hmm. own. Yeah. So but, yeah, but that's for like, if you're doing a school in YWAM, yeah. like me and Marissa at this point, we're long-term missionaries. So what we have to do is we have to have like monthly, monthly support. support. Okay. So for example, my church back home. Um, or various churches. Thanks to my dad. Who's a pastor. He's connected me. Thank um, you. Gloria a Dios. Thank you, papi. Um, but they support me monthly, so I'll send out like. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. so I'll send out my needs like, okay, I need at least two thousand dollars a month for mm -hmm. housing, for food, mm -hmm. transportation, because I need gas for my car, groceries, groceries yeah. um, okay. and even like a miscellaneous, yeah. you know, for like whenever yeah. I want to go out treat myself. Right. And people understand that because yeah. I'm serving the kingdom, you right. know. Yeah. So and is it like a sponsorship type thing? Like I can sponsor like somebody out there and and um, send money. You know what I mean? 
Um, yes, but we, it's not like through, you don't go to YWAM and you're like, hmm, this person. Yeah. yeah. People usually personally reach out. Right, so like every, we personally reach out for to people. For $5, you can <laughs> yeah. donate your money <laughs> to Marissa and help her with her financial needs or whatever the case yeah, is. Yeah. Commercials. Yeah. That's not, it's not like that. No, we mm -hmm. like have to personally like make cold oh, okay. calls and be like, hey, yeah. are you willing to yeah. support me? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that, that's cool then. All right, yeah. so it's 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 a work effort. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, but it pays off. Yeah. It does. yeah. Yep. And then people see the fruit of it, right? Mm -hmm. So exactly. Yeah. That that's a good thing. So your parents are seeing the fruit mm -hmm. of it. You know, they're hearing mm -hmm. the stories and all yeah. that, all, all that other good stuff, which is excellent, which yeah. is really good. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to cover that too, just in case somebody's like thinking about like you know whatever. How does mm -hmm. that work when it comes to yeah. finance? Cause that's yeah. a that's a big one a big yeah, topic no, too definitely um but it's good to um <clears throat> to know that you guys have that support yeah, yeah. whether it be from your church your mm -hmm. family or whatever mm -hmm. and they also see what you guys are doing yeah. i'm pretty sure you're sending videos and pictures yeah. and mom look what happened over here yeah. in india or whatever mm -hmm. email updates yeah yeah that's awesome that that's pretty cool mm -hmm. i i i so far i like the system mm -hmm. i like the i like the way it is um like i said i'm gonna put the information in the description of of this video um let's close it out mm -hmm. with a message to a young little girl or yeah. you know somebody that's out there or, or older lady or yeah. whatever that that mm. is in need of a word you know yeah. um based on your experiences and and stuff it could be related to ywam or just your own mm -hmm. testimony of, of things that you've dealt with like mm -hmm. what is yeah. there is there something you want to tell a, a, a girl i mean then i have today's guests are, are two ladies um, let, let's speak to the ladies out there who are yeah. watching the video. Do you want to go or? You yeah. can go first. Um, I guess I would just say that um, you are just so worthy of love and mm -hmm. you are enough and anything that you might feel like you're not ready to let go of, I'm telling you, like, it is worth it. Following Jesus is worth mm -hmm. it. Yep. Um, anything that you're struggling with, like, I'm telling you, Jesus is a real man and he's not just, yeah. like, something that we just pray to and hope someone hears us like he does hear us and he yes. mm -hmm. loves you and you're his daughter and he desires to have that intimate relationship with you yeah, yeah. um and so i know that it's changed my life in ways i can't even begin to explain mm -hmm. um but i just want to encourage you that you are just beautiful you're worthy and you are enough and mm -hmm. um jesus really does want to be a part of your process yeah cool. um amen. trust him and he's he is so faithful i know mm -hmm. him as a faithful god so yeah. he wants to be that to you as well mm -hmm. amen receive that yeah so good um yeah and i also just want to say like don't forget that there's so much hope for your life yeah like, jesus died on the cross resurrected so that he could be our confident hope mm -hmm. so that we could put our hope in him and have faith in him and he is someone that's never gonna let us down yeah and there will be times in your life where you'll be like god i didn't ask for this mm -hmm. and go through certain situations but in the long run you'll be able to see oh maybe that wasn't what i wanted but it really is what i needed yeah, yeah. and just be so open to like um just continue fighting for what mm -hmm. the lord has for you don't give yeah. up like you really do have a purpose in your life Amen. like the lord really does want to use you and we don't just say these things yeah. because we're missionaries or because this is what they they've trained us to do mm -hmm. but we say it because it's the truth like yeah. Jesus says these things over you in his word mm -hmm. in the Bible Motion you were created the front door. with a purpose yeah. and you were created with a future and yeah. you just find your identity in the Lord yeah. and don't find it in other things Amen. you won't be disappointed mm -hmm. amen there you go our two guests uh, for today um, thank you for for watching um, another episode of coffee break this one is with YWAM, missionaries mm -hmm. from YWAM. They traveled all the way from Hawaii just to come do this mm -hmm, coffee break. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. We, I got connected with Pastor Lenny. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Pastor Lenny for, for the opportunity, um, um, for bringing them here and for meeting new people. Mm -hmm. I've, I always like to meet new people, yeah, connect yeah. with new people. Um, and if you're interested in YWAM, we're going to have information. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, when you hit that, every time you hit that like button, it helps the algorithm to push the video forward. Um, so please do that. Subscribe, 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 please. And hit that little bell icon so you can be notified of yes. new videos that are going to be coming out. Um, and like every coffee break, never settle with being good when you've mm -hmm. always been meant to be great. Come on. See you later. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Yeah.